We're going to do a uh, Sankaku Jime triangle choke from the basic bottom position. And Derek Darling's choked a few people in his career with this move, and I'm going to have him coach it for you. So take it away, Derek. Okay, so the basic idea is to get his forearm or his elbow on my hip or beyond my hip. If you think about it that way, the Sankaku is a really easy move to do. So the easiest way is to, to get wrist control and push down. And as soon as his elbow is down here by my knee or my, my thigh, you loop over. Don't just slide your foot up here like this, because then he just gets his arm back out, and now he's passed. Push, and then hook. It's almost like I'm whacking him with the back part of my, uh, my calf. As soon as I get that, I've got this nice 90 degree bend and his head's pointed down. Loop up and trap my ankle with my other foot. You'll notice that my toes are pointing up. Don't point them sideways. You might think it's easier to, to get that way, but you'll actually give him more space. And space in Sankaku means you're not choking him, okay? So loop and immediately point the toes up. See how you're pointing the toes up to trap it, trap right. the knee. From there, squeeze your thighs together, and they'll usually tap. If they don't, pull the arm over, squeeze again. Now the point Derek is making here, don't get overly concerned about pulling his arm across your chest as some people do. That's kind of a dead giveaway that what you're going to be doing. So the idea here is to really get your legs formed around his neck. That's more important. And notice he actually turned a little bit to the side as well too, so by angling a bit to the side, Derek, you want to show that and, uh, when you do that, see us a little side action? If, if your legs are shorter, don't despair that you can't do the song pocket. You just have to turn to the side. It makes it easier for you to cross your feet. So the shorter they are, the more shrimping you do to the side. So push, and as you go to the side, you just shrimp to the side. See the side angle here. My legs are really short. I want to be almost 90 degrees from his head. Over, squeeze together. And also you could get a double trouble here with a Jujigatami from that position as well, couldn't you? So you, you don't get the choke, you get the arm lock, and sometimes you get both, you get them in both. Double trouble is a lot easier from the side. Sometimes even when I've got square on and he's not tapping, I'll either pull on the side of his pants here or I'll get an underhook and pull. But either way, I'm now sideways and I just get a hold of the arm, push my feet down and hips up and get the double trouble. So one more time, the basic Sankaku or Sangaku triangle choke from the bottom. And there we have it. There are three fundamental ways of doing triangle from three directions. Uh, this one is the basic from the back. Then the other one when he's on his elbows and knees and you come from the top. And then when he's, you know, you're actually in a, you have his back and do it from the back position. This is one of the three basics. And of course there are many, many variations of Sankaku Jume. So there we have it, Sankaku Jume, the basic variation of it as we practice here at Welcome Man. I got him down, I want to control it. Okay? I like to do a pocket grip. You know, some people like to hook here or something, but I like to just get a pocket grip here and this belt or what I can get and keep this nice and tight. And then jam this knee, my left knee, right, right in here, right here by his neck. Jam it in nice and tight. All right? Nice and tight. So when I'm putting weight on, I'm sitting on them. Okay, this leg, I'll keep my leg squeezed. Now I'm going to hook this leg and try to get as close to my other knee as possible. If I get to touch my heel to my knee, that's what I want to be. All right? Now, now I'm ready to roll. So I'll pull here, yank him up, and I'm going to roll to that corner. I'm not rolling straight. Okay, I'm rolling to this corner, to the shoulder. This. And then catching the leg right here. As soon as I catch that leg, all right, you can grab this arm. I catch that arm, my leg right here. I'll pull it in tight. And I'll go for my key lock here by hooking this arm, getting gi or belt, whatever I can get a hold of. And then there, and then, then I just judge. This leg is important right here. When I slip this in, it's got to be underneath his head. Your bottom leg is pretty much like a pillow for his head. Demo again, Kel. All right, go a little slower. And again, I want to keep this nice and tight. I want to control them. Sometimes I like to bring them to me, snap it, 
nice and tight right here. Okay, as I roll them over, his leg's gonna switch under his head real quick. While this one catches his arm right here. And pull it in tight. And you go for your key lock. And then you have this right here for the choke, or you got the arm lock right here. And then you also have a pen too. Kelvin, what if uh, the bottom man is really balled up tight and you can't dig your right leg in to right, hook well, him? There's a couple of things I would do if he's balled up. I will stretch him out like this, and then go for it. Mm -hmm. And then go into it. Drag and hit, okay. Or I will get in here and kick it, dig it in right there. Do that, get it in. So I'm, up. I'm really just kicking right in there, push my heel, cause him pain on the back of the arm. Mm -hmm. Do that. Or I will prop. Prop this like I'm doing a propping. Prop and roll them over. So there's three ways I can get it when they're tight. Because if you prop him, he's all balled up anyway. He's going to roll quickly. And he's invading my space with every single move, guys. He's not being nice about it at all. He's driving that knee in, he's driving his heel in. He's moving my face out of the way to get up underneath there. So don't try and be nice about it because that's when it gets all loose. Just give it. Nice and tight. Keep the, keep the legs because right here, man, right here, I'm sitting, I don't keep this tight. Even if I got, don't got to dig in yet, I'm keeping this really tight. And then I can't move. I can even do it, I should be able to do it without, you know, since I got on that tight with just my legs. And that's the uh, Sankaku from really the top, yeah. front top position from, from head on, basically. Yeah. Okay, so there we have it, guys. Let's work on that. A lot of stuff to work on. We will do it. Thank you. With Muni Gatami. Um, and this is really good if the guy's got his elbow that he's wedging in there. Okay? So he's not letting me get my knee in his armpit. So I'm going to sit through to Kesa and then take it one step further. As soon as that foot comes through, I catch his head. Right? So as soon as I get that head... I can pull up to my chest and step over. And then it just slides right through because I've lifted his head up enough to get my inverted triangle. Plus, since I had the, the uh, underhook from Mooney still, I've got a nice bent or straight arm lock over here. Okay? So I can either hold him down and mess with his arms, or I can hold this arm and get the the triangle. And the nice thing about this guy is, you know, Derek can, you know, like work the bottom man TJ into this. He can, he can like let him think he's getting out, like letting him have that arm to wedge in there. So maybe lose, you know, have it purposely do it a little loose. So yeah, there you go. And he's thinking, oh boy, I've got, I can push up on that hip to start my escape from a side position. Sit through, you stick him back in that good pin, come over, look at that head. That's where you loop over and catch it. And it's a real, it's not easy, but it's a natural progression to that loop, that kicking over that head. It's not a real hard move either. It's not, a, yeah, you're right, Sandy. It's not a hard move. It's a, kind of a natural progression from one thing to the next. It doesn't take 14 million steps. Right. Yeah, the point is it doesn't take a whole lot of different steps. It just, yeah. It's just a matter of continually controlling. And, you know, and again, our approach to it is we don't, we don't want to lose control, you know, to, you know, you don't give up control to get a submission. You just, the submission comes from right. constantly, you know, gaining more control. By doing it, by not giving up your position, like you were saying, Coach, you know, as I'm coming through here, if I can't get my feet together, I'm still pinning him here. He's still got a great North-South Kamishi Ogatami right. situation. He's still stuck. I can stay here all day long because I've got both of his arms and his head. You know, all right, I'm going to sit here and wait. You know, and eventually I'll get this arm or I'll be able to shift my feet and get the triangle. You know, there's a whole bunch, if this is an MMA situation, you know, I can hit him there, or I can switch back through to a crucifix. You know, there's, I'm just working my position all around his shoulders. You remember, top guy, you're winning, you're controlling, that's the right. point of, and again, we're, we're starting from, uh, like we were saying earlier, osai komi means to apply an immobilization, put, put the opponent into a controlling, total controlling, pressing, immobilizing situation. You're winning if you're on top. Yep. Don't give it up. Just... Yeah. You know, if the rules are like an MMA or something, submission grappling, where you, you have to submit him instead of pin him, keep him there. Keep, keep him there. parked there till he quits. Right. You know, like Sean Watson said, like we were saying earlier, then you can apply a good submission. Yep. Let's look at that one more time, and then we'll have the guys practice on it. So we start there, 
from a side control Munigatami chest hole. He sits through. Okay, now watch, he comes over, over hooks. See how he hooks that head up, ties it up. Nice tie up there. And in this case, we're catching both the arm and the head, which makes it a tighter triangle choke from there. So we're finishing with this nice triangle choke and maybe even an arm lock mm -hmm. on the other side. Yep. And uh, J.P. Pocock at Shingitai Camp was last year was showing he, he did it without the arm control. Right. But I think the arm control, you know, not to knock his move because it's a good move, but if you have arm control, it's a tighter, tighter oh, yeah. choke, right? yeah. a lot tighter choke. Plus, you know, if, as, as long as we're fighting from a case standpoint here, this underhook is keeping me safe. Yeah. You know, he's not going to be able to try and climb up and get my back, or even if he's super bending and he starts using his feet to come over the top and pull me back, this underhook yeah, is let's key be in my lifeline right, right here. They're right there, that, that right hand under the, yeah. controlling that shoulder. That right there. As opposed to right here, he can still wiggle his way around mm -hmm. and get my leg on the back. I can finish it from here pretty simply, you know, pull his head up. Yeah. Come through. And that, that underhook is something that, that John Saylor likes. He, he, instead of, he likes to give up that head and catch that underhook with the right hand there because mm -hmm. he says he has so much more control. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, you know, even if I'm just doing this, this is a pretty good... Yeah, you, you've caught uh, him. You, you stuck him. Right. Pin. Yeah. Plus, I can start working other things, you know, go right into the, the arm lock. And if this doesn't work, you know, if I've got this controlled, I can post and, again, step a little bit wider and come right back to it. Yeah. So I'd say, you know, if you're in that case of Gatami, you know, head and arm, as the wrestlers call it, a scarf hole position, I'd go to the more modified uh, attack, like, like you're doing and like Sailor advocates, come under there, okay? Right. Let's try that, guys. Let's give it a try, okay? So it's from a side position to case of Gatami to a uh, nice triangle to let him have it maybe with a bent arm lock or straight arm lock. There we go. By the way, everybody, this is in Juji Gatami Encyclopedia. Let's, let's pedal our book here. So I, I'm switching the, the view around because I'm going to be doing more to force the issue. A lot of guys aren't going to let me filter my foot through, okay? So unless you're pretty flexible and, and uh, dexterous with your feet, you're not going to get it through there. So what I'll do usually is I'll be pulling this and trying to get it out. I'll use the, uh, the hip grab that we usually do for the uppercutting and pulling it out to lever it free so up you're, this way. So you're right, you're right, your left hand in this case is levered on your right thigh. Right, there you go, right I thigh. see it, right you, okay. And once I get it up here, if I can't pull it free, I'm gonna take my foot and put that right there into his bicep. And that'll either give me the, you know, the break, the grip break to finish, or that'll give me enough space to just pop through. And as soon as it's popped through, I keep my feet here, but then when I roll back, I catch right there. I wait until I'm all the way back before I let go of his head. So your right knee is actually helping lift his head right. as you roll back. So I roll back, as soon as I get space, I push with that knee, and that creates a lot tighter grip. And if he's not tapping already, he taps pretty quick, or you just grab it. Ah, uh, it's so much fun, isn't it? Yeah. For you, not for the other guy. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, so there's your leg press. Okay. That helps create some space. Push you can, there you go. Lean this way, push his head up. That's when you form that triangle. And you can roll back and get the tap out. And if he's a tough guy or just not particularly bright and won't tap out, you can still get the arm lock. So as Steve said, you can get some double trouble action there too if you get the juji and the tap out. I'll usually stay on this hip because otherwise if I come back here, you notice I don't have the squeeze anymore for the juji, even if, or sorry, for the uh, triangle choke, even if I sit up. So as soon as I come back to a sitting position, I lose the choke. So stay on your hip pointed towards his knees or his feet. And that way you've still got the choke. You good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You've still got the choke here while you're levering free, and you've got more than enough space to get the juji and the choke. Okay, guys, so that is actually, uh, it's a triangle choke, it's Sankaku Jume, from uh, a leg press position. Very common position. Uh, if you see this, I'll tell you guys.